Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be showing you how to make this baby hat. Uh, there will be sizes 0 to 3 months, 3 to 6, and 6 to 12 months. This is the biggest one, this is the 6 to 12 months. You can see we have a little bit of pattern going around and I will show you pretty much every row. You might have an extra row here or there of double crochets but all of this I will show you exactly how to do. You can decorate it in any way that you want. Okay so this is a um, 6 to 12 months in color lilac and I have a smaller one. This is a, a 0 to 3 months in light pink with a little bow. Uh, and this is how it looks. So you can see the little pattern right there. Now I do have a matching cardigan for this hat. You don't have to make it, but if somebody is interested in it, I will leave a link to it. This is how the cardigan looks like, and this is the matching hat. So it is the same pattern on the hat as onto the cardigan. Okay, so if I got you interested in making one of these hats, let's go and have a look of what we're going to need and let's get started. Okay, so for this uh, hat, we're going to need a 4 millimeter hook or the hook that matches your yarn. Uh, so I have this, like I said, 4 millimeters, a needle to hide the tails. Uh, you, we might need one stitch marker. I have a little bow uh, to decorate the hat. A measuring tape in centimeters. I have this little chart right here that is in centimeters so we measure uh, that the hat would fit a baby. Now if you have your own chart with the uh, hat sizes you can use your one. This is just the one that I usually use when I make hats okay and that is in centimeters like I said and yarn. So I'm going to use a uh, medium weight yarn or DK weight yarn in this color because I need to match uh, the cardigan uh, and it is perfect for four millimeters hook and we're going to need approximately 20 to 30 grams of yarn. So obviously I have way too much. This is what's uh, left over after I made the cardigan. So not a whole lot of yarn, just a little bit, 20 to 30 grams should be enough. Now once you have everything ready, we can get started on our little hat. Okay, so to start the yarn, uh, get your hook and the yarn that you are going to use. And we will just have a quick look at the little uh, measurement chart. So age 0 to 3 months, 3 to 6 and 6 to 12 months. We're going to stop increasing each size at a different point. So 11 centimeters for the smallest one, approximately 12 centimeters for the 3 to 6 months, and approximately 14. Then it's hat height, so that's how high the hat is going to be. 14 centimeters, 15 and 16. And at the end, at the very last few rows, we're going to measure the uh, head circumference just to see if our hat is a little too wide and we need to do a little bit of de decreasing. And right here is the number of stitches in the double crochet rows. So in first row we're going to have 12, second row 24, third row 36, fourth row 48, fifth 60 and sixth 72. We will only probably need uh, up to four rows, maybe five depending on the yarn that you are going to use. But I just wanted to uh, make sure that you will know how many stitches you should have at the end of those rows. Okay, so I'm going to put this aside for, for a second now. And we are going to start with a magic circle, okay? So this is how I do it. If you prefer a different way, just do it the way you do it. Or perhaps have a look. Uh, uh, there are better people who show you how to do this. But this is how I do it. So I wrap my yarn around two fingers and cross it at the bottom. Like this. Then I turn around. I put my hook. So... I put my hook under the first in between the fingers and I catch the second yarn and pull it out, kind of twist it a little bit. And I will carefully take it off. Okay, and then chain one to secure it. I'll show it one more time. Wrap it around two fingers, cross it at the bottom. Okay. And then, in between the fingers, 
catch the yarn, pull it to the front, kind of twist it a little bit, take it off, and chain one. Okay, so we shall start with 12 double crochets. Chain one does not count as a double crochet. So yarn over into the middle of the ring and make your first double crochet. So one and then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve double crochets. So this is row one. Okay. Now we're going to pull up the tail and close the magic circle. Now we are going to find the very first stitch, so the very first one that you can see, and slip stitch just like that, okay? So from now on our rows are going to start slightly different. We're going to chain two, that counts as one double crochet, and then we're going to turn, okay? So this row is increases only so we make two double crochets into each stitch around okay and every time that I will mention an increase that means two double crochets in the same stitch so chain two counts as a double crochet we're gonna yarn over and put another double crochet into the stitch right underneath it right next to it so that is one increase okay so we have two double crochets and then into the next stitch, two double crochets, and into the next one, again two, and just like that all the way around and you should have 24 double crochets. And this is my last stitch. I'll make two double crochets and I will slip stitch into the chain two. So one, two and into that top chain. Then again I'm going to chain two and turn. We always start the this double crochet rows with an increase. So a double crochet right underneath it right next to the chain two and that is an increase okay so we have two double crochets now row number three we're gonna have one double crochet in between each increase so we have made an increase here two double crochets in one stitch then just one double crochet then two double crochets one double crochet two one two one all the way around so I have an increase here the next stitch is just one double crochet and then two double crochets into the next one and then one double crochet and then two double crochets into the same stitch and just like that you go all the way around two one two one two one and you should have 36 double crochets at the end of this row and I finish with one double crochet and I have 30 
six of them okay so next row we want to connect into the top of that chain two not into the stitch but into the chain two there. and we can actually start measuring for the stop increasing so I need 12 centimeters because I'm making uh, three to six months it's definitely too small for now yes it's only seven and a half I need it to be closer to 12 so I definitely need another row or two okay so row number four again we start with chaining two and we turn we make our first double crochet right next to that chain two so it is an increase and then we make one double crochet into the next stitch and again one double crochet into the next stitch okay so we have two double crochets one one and this is how we are going to repeat the whole row two double crochets or an increase one and two and then one double crochet and one into the next one so two one one two one and one and just like that keep going to the end of this row and I'm just finishing this row so two one and one and I have 48 double crochets now I'm going to connect into the chain two it might be a little difficult sometimes just take your time make sure that you don't connect actual into actual stitch but it is a chain two like this fantastic okay I'll give it a quick measure again I'm looking for about 12 maybe 12 and a half centimeters 10 it's way too little I definitely need another uh, another row uh, now it might be difficult uh, different for you because you have different yarn so if you are let's say a half of a centimeter short to reaching the stop increasing you will be fine you can just stop increasing and start uh, with a pattern around the hat but if you are more than a centimeter off uh, your stop increasing okay you should keep going and make another row okay so that's what I'm going to do I'm gonna make another row definitely need one so this is going to be row number five and I should have uh, 60 double crochets at the end of this row again we start with chaining two and turn double crochet right back uh, under that chain two so that is an increase and this time we're gonna have three double crochets one two and three one double crochet into each of the next three stitches so one two and three and then an increase so two double crochets into that same stitch and again the next three are just one double crochet into each stitch one two and three then again an increase and one two and three and an increase and so on okay so we have three double crochets and then an increase of two double crochets into that same stitch all the way around okay so I'm finishing this row I have an increase and then one two 
and three double crochets. I'm going to slip stitch into the chain two, to the second or the top chain, right there. I'm going to give it a quick measure. So I should have reached my stop increasing point. So I'm exactly at 12 centimeters, which is absolutely perfect. I will stop. This is enough for me. Uh, if you need more, add another row. Now the next row would be uh, two chains. You turn, double crochet back under the chain two, and it's an increase. And then you would have four double crochets in between each in, uh, each increase. Okay, so that's an increase. So double, 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 and double increase. And then again four double crochets one two three four and an increase of two double crochets one two three four an increase one two three four all the way around and you should have 72 double crochets I have 60 okay so now once you reach your uh, stop increasing point or the diameter of your hat Okay, so like this, it's a circle. It doesn't matter if you have finished on a different row. Uh, our pattern will work out no matter what. So this is what we are going to do. I'm going to chain one and turn. Okay, so we go into the stitch right next to that chain one and make a single crochet. Now we make three chains, one, two, and three. We skip two stitches one, two, and into the next one we make a single crochet. Then chain three, one, two, and three, skip two stitches, single crochet. One, two, and three, we skip two stitches and single crochet into the third one. Just like that, all the way around. Okay, so finishing this row, the last bit right here, so you can see I have two um, uh, stitches I'm going to chain two this time and I'm going to slip stitch into that single crochet now I chained two at the very end so sometimes when you chain three and then you have a slip stitch it actually makes the hole look a little bit bigger but as you can see uh, chaining two leaves the same is exact uh, size as the other ones Okay, so the next row is very, very simple. We are going to chain two and turn, and we're going to make three double crochets into each chain space. So we'll start right at the next one with one, two, and three double crochets. Then into the next chain space, three double crochets. One, two and three into the next one one two and excuse me three and keep going like that all the way around okay so once you finish you are going to connect in or under the chain two. At this point, it doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna go under. Just this is the chain, and this is the first double crochet. I'm just gonna go in between and slip stitch. Okay, so next row we're going to chain three and turn around. Now we're going to crochet three double crochets together. So on top of every three that we have made before. Okay, so we're gonna yarn over and start a double crochet in the first stitch. Pull your yarn out, you have three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two and stop. Yarn over into the next stitch, catch yarn, pull out, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, go into the third stitch, catch your yarn, pull it out, pull through two loops. Now at this point you have four loops on your hook, you're going to yarn over, pull through three loops, you have two loops left. Yarn over, pull through two loops and chain three. One, two, and three. Okay. Then the next three into the first stitch, 
halfway stop into the second halfway stop into the third one halfway stop four loops on your hook yarn over pull through three loops yarn over pull through two loops and chain three one more time into the first stitch halfway through stop yarn over into the next one halfway stop third one halfway stop pull through three loops pull through two loops and chain three okay so you're making a point on top of each of them so keep going like this I will see you at the end of this row so once you make your last one you are going to chain one and slip stitch into that chain three okay just like that now the next row is very simple we're going to chain one and turn we are going to make a single crochet right next to that chain one then a single crochet into the next chain space and chain three and single crochet into the next chain space so we are uh, single crocheting in between each of those little triangles okay like that one two and three single crochet one two three single crochet and so on just like that all the way around and so I'm finishing this row your last single crochet goes uh, behind the last uh, three double crochets crocheted together so just before the chain here and we slip stitch into the first stitch just like that then we're going to chain two and we're going to turn the next row is super simple we make we find the next chain three space after we turn we make a single crochet chain three and single crochet back into that same chain three space into the next one single crochet chain three and single crochet back in there into the next single three chains and single just like that keep going around just finished this row find the chain two and slip stitch into it or under it does not matter at this point the next row is the last row of our pattern so you're going to chain two and turn and again we are going to make three double crochets into each chain three space so just like we did right here into the chain three space one two and three one two and three and just like that all the way around okay so once you finish this row you're gonna slip stitch into the chain two or under it doesn't really matter okay so now we're finished with the pattern okay so that is all done now we only need to get some length okay so let's see the hat height right here so 14 15 sorry you can't see it 14 15 or 16 centimeters three to six months for me it's 15 centimeters I am going to measure from the top of the hat down so it is approximately it is approximately 12 centimeters in length so I need another three centimeters okay so if you have more than one and a half centimeter to go uh, you should make another row of double crochets just to 
make it faster okay if you have about one one and a half centimeters left just stay uh, don't do another row just wait for me and we will do the single crochet rows to finish it up okay but I have enough space to make one more double crochet row you might actually have two if you're making the bigger size so I'm just gonna chain two and turn and I'll just make one double crochet into each stitch all the way around just like that okay and I'm just going to slip stitch to finish this row and I'm actually going to chain one and I'm gonna give it a quick measure again to see if I have enough space to make another double crochet row or should I just stick with the single crochets and do a little bit of decreasing so okay so I am at about 13 and a half centimeters so I have one and a half centimeters left besides this is very very stretchy because it has a lot of chains in it you might just want to stretch it out a little bit actually when you measure so I'm actually at about 14 centimeters so I have about one centimeter left and I will just cover uh, that missing centimeter with single crochets if you have enough space to do another uh, double crochet row just do that because it's easier it's quicker uh, to cover the length okay so I have about two rows left with single crochets and I want to do most likely a little bit of decreasing so the head circumference right here so 34 39 or 43 is the full head circumference so I have a little thing here okay so this would be all the way around all the way around the head okay so the circumference and then the smaller number down is a half of it because we're gonna measure a half of the hat like this okay so let's see so the, the size I'm making I want it to be approximately 19 and a half centimeters inside let's say 20 just to make it easier I'm gonna put my measuring tape in there and I'm gonna pull it, pull it out a bit because it's so stretchy okay not too much just a little bit so it is actually measures about 22 centimeters I want it to be closer to 20 so it's a little bit wide approximately 2 centimeters too wide so I'm gonna give uh, 4 decreases for each centimeter that is over the measurement okay so it should be about 20 so one centimeter over that's four and another centimeter that's eight stitches now decreasing will be super simple and we're actually not even going to uh, have a plan here once we go around with the single crochets we will just skip a stitch and I want to skip uh, eight stitches all the way around okay for the two centimeters that I am over the only thing you might actually do is get yourself one stitch marker and mark so this is where you start right mark approximately the other side of the hat from where you are starting so that way I know that I have to do half of the decreases on one side until I get to the stitch marker and the other half on the other side so as I have four decreases uh, excuse me eight decreases I'm gonna do four and four on this side okay let's start very simple okay I'm going to go single crochet single crochet single crochet and then I suddenly decide to do a decrease which would be my first one so I'm just gonna completely skip that stitch go into the next one and I'll just count it as one decrease then I'll do another few single crochets and I'll do my second decrease so approximately here I'll again I'll skip a stitch that is two do another few single crochets Um, skip one that's three decreases for me and I'll just go a little bit further and do my last 
decrease you might have to do a little bit more uh, if you have um, you can actually leave a few decreases to do in the next row as well but I would say six or even eight decreases in one half of the head is absolutely perfect so don't worry too much about it then I'm gonna skip a stitch that's my fourth decrease and I'll just finish so I am at the halfway of the hat and now I have to do my oh excuse me the other four decreases I'll just make a few stitches so I'm not too close to the last decrease oh. okay so I need four more I'm gonna skip one that's one decrease I'm going to skip another one, that's second decrease. Okay, so I'm going to skip the third decrease and one more. So just right here, I'm going to skip the last one. And that is it. I'm done with decreases. I will measure it again, but you kind of want to give it one row uh, to cover on top just to make sure that it actually has time to uh, decrease the bottom of the hat okay so I'm gonna slip stitch into the very first stitch chain one and I'm just gonna do single crochets one single crochet into each stitch all the way around and the number of stitches at this point doesn't count doesn't matter it's just the measurements that matter Okay, so just like that, single crochet all the way around. Okay, so I went all the way around. I'm going to slip stitch into the very first stitch, chain one, and I'm just going to give it a quick measure for the height of the hat. Like this. Okay. So for the height of the hat, about 15 centimeters which is absolutely perfect and for the circumference so it should be about 19 and a half 20 centimeters without being too stretchy inside of the hat and absolutely perfect it doesn't even want to go past that 20 if you need to do the, another few decreases you can uh, do an extra row and to have it a little bit tighter at the bottom but my hat is actually finished I'm just going to, so I chained one, so I'm going to cut my yarn and pull this out. I actually have a smaller stand here that will, that is the circumference of the hat that I have just made. So you can see, it is absolutely perfect like that okay just a few more things left actually very few um, the decorating will be up to you what you want to do with the hat the most important thing is the tail in the middle right here we need to, to secure it well because it doesn't have any knots it's just hanging there so give it a little pull okay with the needle go from the side to another side so I'm kind of going under that thread like this okay make sure that it's nice and tight in the middle so I'm gonna pull that now I'm going to go into that loop and make a knot pull tight that's it that is a knot and I'll just hide it around the little circle the little magic circle and that is good that is coming nowhere And the last one, I find that the nicest way to hide the tail after you slip stitch like this 
is if you go straight down into the next stitch that is right next to it right down like this and you pull so you see it kind of disappears into the stitches so you can't see it and then in between and that is done the only thing that I have for my hat is to decorate it and I am going to put a little bow in the same color, it's pretty much the same color I'm gonna sew it on right here and so I have finished the little hat that matches the little cardigan perfectly you can see I have a little bow very simple and beautiful thank you very much for watching I hope it worked out for you and I will see you in the next one bye